On in Washington today, the Senate will consider a measure that would suspend the debt ceiling in 2022. It's already passed the House, but Senate Republicans are expected to block it. Late last night, President Joe Biden suggesting that Senate Democrats should change filibuster rules to work around the Republicans. The president has not been shy about the opposition to raising the debt ceiling. Just get out of the way. If you don't want to help save the country, get out of the way so you don't destroy it. Lawmakers have 12 days to raise the debt ceiling, and analysts say if that does not happen, a new crisis could be triggered, including the R word, recession. Evan Lambert joining us now from Capitol Hill today. Evan, this is just the latest in a roadblock uh, for President Biden. Adrian, yes, and one of those battles is between both parties on the all-important debt limit, but then you also have a battle among Democrats themselves on this $3.5 trillion social spending wish list. In the last few days, Democrats have acknowledged they'll need to make some concessions rather, to get that price tag down. The Hill reports President Biden proposed a package between $1.9 and $2.3 trillion, which means progressives are working to figure out what to cut from that massive bill that tackles child care, education, health care, and climate change. Democrats say they can pay for it by raising taxes on the rich and corporations. On the debt Ceiling. Democrats recognize that this situation is dire and say it's possible they could get rid of the filibuster just for the vote. We're heading toward a historic default by around October 18th that could tank the stock market, slow Social Security checks, and mean millions of lost jobs. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell says no Republicans will vote to raise the debt limit and wants Dems to vote on it through reconciliation. Democrats say they don't have time. In our last hour, Adrian spoke live to Wyoming Republican Senator Cynthia Lummis about this battle, and then you'll hear from Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. The Democrats will have to use reconciliation, which gives them a simple majority vote to increase the debt ceiling. They control the House, the Senate, and the presidency. They don't need a single Republican vote to raise the debt ceiling. Look, we all know that Senate Republicans have manufactured a crisis that threatens to plunge our economy back into recession. We do not have the luxury of using a drawn out, convoluted, and risky process. And just this morning, the White House putting out a blog post on what will happen if the debt ceiling is not raised. It says, in part, a default would fundamentally hinder the federal government from serving the American people. Payments from the federal government that families rely on to make ends meet would be endangered. Adrian. All right, Evan, thank you so much. A lot of